The Biden administration is accusing Meta of trying to buy a monopoly in the metaverse. Here with more on this is Yahoo Finance tech reporter Ali Garfinkel. Ali, good to see you. What's the latest drama here with Meta? Always good to see you, Dave. I feel like every week we kind of just check in, we tune in, and, you know, Microsoft couldn't have all the fun, right? So yesterday the FTC kicked off its trial where it's looking to prevent Meta from buying an app called Within. It's a VR, it's a VR app developer known for a fitness app called Supernatural. Now, the FTC is arguing that this acquisition is going to help Meta set up a monopoly in fitness and VR. Now, Meta, on the other hand, of course, they're saying they have serious competitors on all sides, mentioning TikTok, Apple among them. Uh, and there's what they're saying is that whether it's fitness apps, VR, they have competitors. So we'll see what happens here. This is a case that Meta has actually already failed to get dismissed, Dave. The other thing, too, is that FTC Chair Lena Khan has been very proactive and vocal about the fact that she believes big tech needs to be reined in, win or lose in some of these trials. So I'd say there are sort of two things to watch here, Dave. The first is that CEO Mark Zuckerberg is expected to testify in this trial. So that could be interesting. The other thing, too, is how does this standoff going to affect Meta as it's coming off an incredibly difficult year. We've talked about it a lot on this show. It's been a difficult year as they have tried to pivot to the metaverse as the economy's taken a downturn. So in the end, for me as a former M&A reporter, one of the things I'm wondering about is how this is going to affect M&A for meta and big tech as a whole. And we know Chair Khan is looking for ripple effects down the line. So we'll have to see how it plays out. Stock down 65% this year. Ali Garfinkel, thanks so much. Appreciate that.